a little old and you need all the help you can get. So it's... So Max Factor. Max Pancake. Factor. Pancake. Pan number two. So yeah. now what, what else are you going to do? You just put on like... um. This is the blush. Blush. looks good. It feels mighty good, let me tell you. <laughs> what is he doing? He's doing me. I'm doing it. <laughs> giving her makeup tips during a visit from a roving reporter, Matthew. My mom alone has kept Max Factor in business. <laughs> now my mother may have her own way of doing her makeup, but me, I look to the professionals for help. He's the makeup artist to the stars, including Katy Perry, Victoria Beckham, Cher, and me. <laughs> The Mac Daddy of Mac Cosmetics, Gregory Alt. Thank you. Hey, son. Yay. So nice to be here. So now tell me, what is your philosophy on doing makeup? What makes, you know, your technique so special and all the women always look so beautiful? Well, first of all, I work on beautiful women anyway, so that's easy. And uh, I really believe less is more, you're out the door, you know? Uh, less is more, you're out the door. <laughs> you know, I, like I always say I'm a beauty exorcist. I like to pull it out of somebody as opposed to put a lot of makeup on somebody. So really highlight their natural beauty. Uh-huh, that's great. Yeah. Now, what do you think are the biggest mistakes that women make? Oh, where do we begin? <laughs> uh, <laughs> usually it's, well, first of all, lack of confidence. I mean, a lot of women are afraid to wear makeup. Oh, I can't wear that red lip, but it washes off. So mm -hmm. have fun with your makeup. But secondly, foundation. Foundation is The biggest important. culprit. I always say I want to have like one of those holsters with a sponge in it when I go yeah. to the mall and just blend. Blend. Because <laughs> blend you see that unsightly line sometimes. You do and it looks like the tide line in the ocean. Yes. So I always so say. So it's base. Base. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. He does a magnificent eyebrow ladies. Thank you. And uh, also lips. I and think lips. people make a lot of mistakes with lips, not finding the right color, the right texture, Sometimes not knowing how to put it on. Sometimes the lipstick goes up this it way. It feathers. Sometimes it, they don't do a line or they do a, too much too line much of a or line. they make it bigger, the lip. I call it the Oreo cookie mouth. You know when you take out an Oreo and it's a white on the inside and dark on the outside? Yeah, that's not, not for your good. lips. That's not good. Okay, so, so we have three models we have here, three right? Come great on models in, ladies. from your audience. <laughs> Real lady models. Okay, Real so ones. I'm gonna come over here yes, and we're gonna talk. Here. Hi, how are you? Hi. What's Hi. your name? This Brenda. is Brenda. Brenda, excellent. The lovely Brenda. And you know what? Blenda, Blenda. Uh, well, Blenda. that's Blenda, little bit for yes. Brenda. Um, basically, what are you we're gonna, gonna do show on eyebrows. Her? And okay. Brenda has great eyebrows, but you know, they're a little unruly, so what we're gonna do is just kind of brush them. Mm -hmm. And remember, brows frame the face. Mm -hmm. Okay, I always say they pr really provide about 50% of your expression. Totally. And a lot of people tend to go too thin or they don't know what to do. So what I'm going to show you to do is how to fill them in a little bit with color. You don't want to look like Joan Crawford and Mommy Dearest. Right. Unless you're in management. <laughs> um, so basically what I like to do is actually do use an eyeshadow. Do you fill in your eyebrows? I don't. No. I don't know how. Okay. Well, I'm going to teach you. Okay. Exactly. And you're I'm using teach you. an eyeshadow. I'm using an eyeshadow because I find that it's a better match to hair. There's so many different hair colors out there right now. And what kind right of now. brush are you using? And I'm using like a, a great slanty. little angle brush mm -hmm. called the number 266 by MAC. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is what, just a small amount on the brush and really lightly brush up into the brow. See what I'm doing? It's almost like a stain. And then now what you're the, doing is... is the color that you picked the same color or do you use a different type? I actually go about a half a shade lighter than her hair. Because okay. you want it to be undetectable. You don't want it to look hard. Right. And you don't want it to look like you're mad, again, unless you, you know, you are. Yeah, you don't want to so, be scowling. No, no scowling. We want it to be pretty. And remember, brows are sisters, not twins. So they're never going to look exactly the same. That's but they shouldn't be second cousins twice removed. Okay. <laughs> okay, so don't go too thin. Try and get them to match, so match but don't and then, go nuts. Exactly, and just kind of brush the color through the hair mm -hmm. so that you have a little bit of definition, but it's not too heavy. Turn this way just a little bit. So again, just brushing up into the eyebrow. You're almost staining it. The brow color that she has naturally is a dark brown. And so we don't want to go black or too heavy. And she also has really beautiful sort of warmer highlights in her hair. So we want to match that. But do you see what I'm doing? Yes. And work it right through the brow, right through the arch. And how far do you extend the brow? Good question. If you were to take an imaginary dot from the outside of your nose to the outside of your eye and up here, line it up with the brush. 
And that's, that's about where how it far goes. you should go. Exactly. Well, that's a great tip, right. Gregory. I yeah. think we should move on. It's What's awesome. the next mistake? Foundation. Okay, foundation. <laughs> Base. Yes, exactly. You know, you hear the word foundation, a lot of Hi. women run Hi. kicking and screaming. They're mm -hmm. thinking, yeah, it's going to be too heavy. So What's what I did name? is, Lori. Lori. this is Lori, we love Lori. <laughs> As you can see, she's got nice skin, but there's a little bit of redness in her skin. And also, mm -hmm. too, a lot of women tend to be a little bit of a different color between the chest and the face. Mm. That's because we wear sunscreen, we're, we're exfoliating our skin, and all that kind of stuff, so the skin tends to get lighter. I've prepped a little bit of foundation in a little dish, mm -hmm. but what you're going to want to do is, in order to choose the right foundation, go to a professional. You know, a lot of women will go to the, the drugstore, the supermarket, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't, man, it's a little light. Well, you have to put it on your skin. Okay. And uh, they're tested and on the back the of their hand. all the shopping malls now have different, you makeup know, makeup artists. stores that you can go in and really test different ones. Now, exactly. I see you've got a brush, but I also see that you've got these sponges, which is what I usually use. So what I are like you doing? I like to use a brush. A brush is your friend as well because basically you can get into the little hard to reach places. Mm -hmm. Most discoloration happens in the center of the face, okay? We have dark circles under the eyes, redness in the cheeks. Speak for yourself. You know, I, okay. we meaning me, uh, <laughs> the royal we. No, I'm kidding. I have the same things. <laughs> and so what I'm doing is, as you can see, and I'll just do half her face so you can really get the idea, work down. It's funny, in a magazine years ago I read, you should lift your foundation, it lifts the spirits, it lifts peach fuzz. Oh. So what you want to do is down and go down, bring it onto the neck if you need it so there's harmony between the face and the body. Mm -hmm. So you can already see the difference and we can move on. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, that and then is great to also know. Also to remember, Fran, when you're doing your foundation, actually do your foundation first, then concealer. Foundation first and then, then concealer. concealer. That's so you get interesting because I down. usually do just the, the opposite. opposite. But you'll use less product using concealer second because you get your skin already looking good. Yeah. So you can see the two different sides. Yes. And it's like, you know, so that, sort of the night and day. There's a reason why they call it foundation. Because you're it's the foundation, it's right. the canvas. Okay, let's go on to the All third right. gal. Hi, darling, how are you? Lips. What's your name? Janelle. Janelle. Okay, so what Hi, are we going to do with Gregory. Janelle here? Okay, look at this, first of all, this gorgeous face. Amazing. The, her lips are incredible. I'm really inspired by the natural color. So I think when you're doing lips, Choose, everyone always says, what's the best lipstick for me? What's the right shade? It's what makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. One day you want to, might want to wear red. One day you might want to wear natural color. But do you, uh, do you recommend wearing a, a liner? I do recommend a liner from time to time, depending. Now, she's got gorgeous lips. Um, we want to see a little bit more definition on the top lip mm -hmm. without looking too heavy. So find a pencil that basically matches your natural lip color. And the trick is, is you almost want to sketch the pencil on. Because a lot of times when people do a hard line, it looks just that. It mm -hmm. looks like a hard line. So you want to kind of go in small feathery strokes. And this is kind of a creamy uh, stick pencil, exactly. right? This is a cream you stick like liner that by best? MAC. I prefer this best because it's softer. I think a lot of women, especially in the winter time, you get a little dry. So you're going to want something a little bit more on the creamy side. Mm -hmm. And do you see what I'm doing, Fran? I'm feathering it into the mouth. Yes. So that there's harmony. It's very zen. You want it to be one with the mouth. And you don't, do you or don't you want to change the shape of the outline of the lip? You can, depending. Like if your lips tend to be a little on the thinner side, this is the cheapest form of collagen you're going to get. Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you might want to do the lip. barely. You want right. it to be undetectable. You okay. know, you don't want trout pout, as I call it. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you fill this in on the whole lip. I and really then do like you that. Put like a, 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 a sheen on it, you or is can. it more of a matte look? Well, you know, it really depends. I pers I'm like a magpie. I like shiny things. Mm -hmm. So I really do like to see a little bit of luster on the mouth because I think it looks a little bit more glamorous and a little bit prettier, especially if you're into a natural color. So this would be your ba your fa base. Uh, you'd fill it all in. You fill it all in, and then you take Make a lip a brush. Make a clean outline. Make a clean outline. You take a lip brush with nothing on it. Uh-huh. And what you're going to want to do is just blend, blend right into the mouth. Okay. And then you can finally, you could use lipstick. I prefer, I love a gloss right okay. now. Okay. And it's not a sticky gloss, it's more creamy. Okay, This good. is one of my favorite, I use this on all my clients. And this clients, has a little bit of glitter you. in it too, I think. <laughs> yes, it's so, called Love Nectar. So Gregory, love I cannot thank you enough. You, there's a reason why we call you the Mac Daddy of Mac Cosmetics. You really know your stuff. He does all these famous That's women. Pretty. And guess thank what? You. Everybody in the audience is getting some makeup goodies to take home.
beauty show. She has changed fashion photography forever with some of the most stunning pictures in the world. So don't go away. Let's see what she's got. Come on out, Jamie.